two months later. Okay. Midwest Zemuria, Laman State. The Lakla Canyon Racer Training Grounds. All right, oh, we're visiting some new areas. All right. Here I come, Annalise. Blazing Barrage. Yeah, that is pretty hot. Now it's my turn. Eight Leaf Blitz. I, one thing I never got to mention in the first game is she uses a Eight Leaf Blitz. Was she, or is she, was she, is she an Eight Leaf Practitioner? Of the one blade school? Is it is it eight leaves? It, it, it's been a little while. Okay. Cut me some slack. Oh, I'm not done yet. I can't keep this up. So what the you're mine. Ow. Thanks, are you okay, Annalise? I didn't mean to hit that hard. No, I'm okay. I blocked it, uh, mostly. Sure got me good with that one, though. Guess I can't rely on that one move as my win button anymore, huh? It was just luck, really. Besides, I gotta give back a little of what I've been taking. You've really been throwing yourself into this, Estelle. Uh, if, you've, if you've got enough energy left for smack talk, let's do one more set. Come on. You're on. Well, you two certainly have a lot of energy this morning. Is that Shara? It is not. Oh, Phyllis. Good morning. Morning, Phyllis. Good morning, Estelle, Annalise. I was going to call you two uh, to breakfast, but I suppose you'd rather beat the stuffing out of each other instead of getting stuffed, huh? Oh, breakfast, right. What do you think, Annalise? Beat stuffing or get stuffing? Hmm. That is a choice, isn't it? We'd be wasting a perfectly good breakfast if we didn't eat, so... Phyllis, you wouldn't happen to know where Kurt is, would you? Kurt said he he had to prepare some things for today's training, so he went on ahead. He made it sound like he had some pretty hard things lined up for you two today. Oh, great. You really said that? And he told me to make sure you both ate a good breakfast. Come in and eat, you two. Something tells me you'll be wanting it later. I didn't realize how hungry I was. I hope it isn't a bad idea to eat this much before practice, though. Yeah, Phyllis's cooking is extra super yummy. Plus, Kurt's got something big planned, so I doubt we'll get a lunch break, you know? Yeah, good point. We need to keep our strength up to train, after all. Man, though, it's already been three weeks since I came here. It feels like it's... Uh, it feels like it's passed by in the blink of an eye. Bars. Oh, uh, well, you really threw yourself into it, Estelle. Training with you has done me a lot of good, too. Aw, oh, thanks, Annalise. That means a lot. Gotta admit, though, while I'm glad Kurt agreed to train us, I really didn't expect for you to be here training with me. Well, I've only been a senior bracer for like half a year. I'm really still a newbie myself, to be honest. So when Shara told me the whole deal with you and training and stuff, I thought, hey, perfect. Kurt and the others had mentioned this place before, and I wanted to come anyway. So when I heard you were coming, well, oh, that makes sense. You know, thinking about it, the guild owning something like this makes me realize just how big the guild is. When Dad first told me about it, I didn't realize how big a thing it'd be. I just want to reduce the, uh, the music volume. Uh, as I said, Estelle, I have no intention of stopping you. To be honest, however, you are no match for the society, especially against their deadliest agents. You simply lack the skills. So I have a suggestion. Would you like to go to Le Lacle? Le Lacle. Le Lacle. 
Uh, it's a trading ground run by the Bracer Guild near the international headquarters in the Le Mans State. Its base is set within a canyon that contains a number of difficult training uh, facilities covering skills of all kinds. Ruins investigation techniques, ranger... Uh, ranger? Uh, tracking and survival skills, counter-terrorist operations. It is bar none the finest place on the continent for teaching practical bracer skills. Oh, I never knew there was a place like that. But it's in Le Mans, isn't it? So it's outside the country. I don't think I can leave Le Burrow right now. Well, it's in a foreign country, yes. But it's only one day by airship. The training period lasts for about a month, I believe. If anything, uh, if anything new comes up while you're there, we'll send for you right away. How does that sound? Well, I recommend it, but the decision is yours. You need an answer today. Take some time to think it over. No, I've decided. I'll take the training. Oh, my. Excellent. You sound rather determined. I get the feeling you've been thinking about something like this for some time. Yeah, sorta. To be honest, looking back, I've just been relying on Joshua this whole time. Kind pretty much. Whenever something happened, Joshua would always guide me to the answer. But now, now I have to rely on my own judgment. So yes, I want to retrain myself at this Le Lacle uh, place. Oh, Estelle, I see. Then we'll file your application to attend tomorrow. Roland's Guild branch will have everything we need for it. Okay then, tomorrow. Say Estelle. Once we're done with that, let's hop back over to the department store in Gransel for a, a minute. The department store? Why? Well, I haven't gotten your senior bracer present yet. And you, I think, are going to need some new on-the-job clothes. Yeah, it kind of surprised me too. Speaking of your folks, those clothes were a present from Shara, right? Uh, you're so lucky. I wish Shara would buy me clothes, especially cute stuff like that. Yeah, they were... I mean, they're tough and all, and they're nice and light and easy to move around in, but... I don't know if colors this girly are really my thing. What? Are you kidding? You look great. Way better than that old red outfit of yours. Remember, we may be bracers, but we're girls too. Fashion is important. No, because we're bracers, we have to look great. It is our duty. Uh, Annalise? Ah, I've got it, Estelle. A hair ribbon. You'd look great with one. How about it? I should have a spare somewhere. I'll pass, thanks. In fact, I uh, couldn't help but notice. You're kind of a fan of cute things, aren't you, Annalise? Well, yeah, cuteness is justice. It's the law. I mean, okay, I totally get the appeal of cool older women like Shara, but there's nothing, not a thing, that can beat a young girl who's dressed up all cute. And whenever I see a teddy bear or a stuffed animal, I just want to hug it to death and... <laughs> if she ever met Tita, she'd probably faint. But, you know, you've changed a lot since I first met you. Uh, well, when we first met back... Uh, way back when, you had this real I'm a naive, innocent newbie air about you. And you still have that air of newbiness around you, but now it seems like you've got some steel in your soul, I guess. It's pretty incredible if you ask me. Uh, aw, Annalise, cut it out with the flattery. Don't get so embarrassed. I'm in it. Besides, you make me want to work harder. Can't let a young upstart like you take my cutest and best bracer ever title. Really? Anyway, shouldn't we be getting to practice soon? Yeah, it's about time, I guess, huh? Let's go back to our rooms and get ready. See you in a bit. Jeez, she's like a ball of energy. So glad to have her with me, though. Alright, gotta stop by my room and get my stuff together. I think that'll do. I'll uh, look at the VOD and it'll be totally out of place and just totally bonkers. But it sounds so much better to me.
Oh, already done? No, oh, I was just about to head to my room. Oh, okay, you better get past then. Even a bit, Estelle. Yeah, later. Oh, yeah, I never uh, discussed if I was going to do side quests or not. I think I'll try them out, see if they're interesting. They probably won't be. And if they aren't, then I'll probably skip the majority of them like last time. Uh, okay, this is Kurt practice we're talking about, so let's assume I'll need everything, kitchen sink included. It'll be like real combat, so I'll have no idea what to expect. Stell took the harmonica out of her bag. Okay, I'll do my best today, too, I promise. Alright, that's everything. Next stop, the entrance. But what about shoes? Well, in the first game, I did not uncover anything that can be found, you know, like stuff. Doors locked tight. Anytime there was like a secret or something, there was an exclamation point, so. Ooh, look who it is. You're here, Estelle, good. Well, let's begin then. Take a seat. Uh, please take the seat across from me. Today I want you and Annalise to cover Ruin's exploration. We'll be heading to the Ballstar Channel, which is west of the Lodge. The Ballstar Channel. Kind of a strange name, but it's another training facility, right? Yes, that's exactly it. It's an old aqueduct from the Middle Ages that the guild repurposed. Several of its defense mechanisms are still operable, plus quite a few monsters have made it their nest. Traps and monsters, huh? Yep, that sounds like practice Kurt style to me. So let's head off to this aqua thingy. Hold a moment, before we leave, I want you two to take a look at these. I produced a pair of strangely configured orbments. Uh, what is this? Looks like a combat orbment, but it's all weird. Correct, this is a new model combat orbment. You know, of course, or you know, of course, of the Epstein Foundation, which develops combat orbments, among other or orbital technologies. This is a new kind of co combat orbment developed by the Foundation and supplied to the Guild mere weeks ago. As you can see, they have an additional slot compared to the previous orbments for a total of seven. As a result, this should allow for the utilization of, of new, more powerful combat arts. Well, that's incredible. Heck yeah it is. These will make us awesome. So don't be stingy, Kurt. Make with the goodies. As you wish. Or if you wish, the guild will provide you each uh, one for free. However, there is, as you may expect, a catch. The circuit architecture within these ornaments is radically different from your current combat ornaments. As a result, your old quartz crystals are not compatible with these new ornaments whatsoever. You will need to obtain new revised quartz. What? But that mean that all the quartz we've made up until now are worthless. I'm afraid so, yes. It will be a hassle, but you'll need to rebuild your quartz collection from scratch if you use these. Oh, no way. This is a hard choice. Could we keep using our current ornaments? You could, but I don't recommend it. These new ornaments are superior models in every way. Their maximum EP potential is higher, and the, uh, the high-end new quartz they can accept have impressive capabilities. In the long term, they will grant you increased physical abilities. And most importantly, the arts they can construct are far beyond what your current ornaments are capable of. Estelle, you recall our good friend, Lieutenant Lawrence, I assume. What? How do you know about him? Lawrence, yeah. I don't think I could forget him even if I wanted to. Shara told me about a certain bizarre art he used against you. A terrifying attack that lashed out at your entire team and clouded your minds. As it happens, this ornament can manifest an art exactly like that with the correct quartz combination. It's been dubbed Silver Thorn. Silver Thorn? 
Wait, hang on a sec here. Wouldn't that mean that Red Uniform Bozo had one of these new model ornaments two months ago? A scary thought, but it's very possible. The imp implications of which are... Well, for now, I must know. Will you accept the new ornaments? Mm, man, this is so tough. With a bit of work, it'd make us awesome, but right now, it'd be a nasty drop in power. Alright, see, knowing how ornaments work, this is how you do this. You like... I'll take the new ones, but I'm going to keep my old one equipped, and when I get enough Sepith, then I'll start upgrading the slots, and when it's worth it to use the new one, then I'll use the new one by replacing it, assuming I got enough, you know, like new quartz to slot in and whatnot. That's how you do. Also, what's up, Dante? Big slots indeed. I'd like the new model, Kurt. Buh? <laughs> Lawrence, or whatever his name is, uh, beat us away like a like a tiger swatting at a playful cub. I know a new ornament won't make me innately stronger, but if this could give me even the tiniest edge, I'd like to master it. So please, Estelle, yeah, you're right. Like I said, Kurt, fork over the goodies. Very well, go ahead and take them. There's your in-game explanation for why we're not as powerful as we once were. And I think they did a decent job here. Also, take these. Got some Sepith. That should be enough to synthesize a basic selection of quartz. Robert's stationed at the uh, workshop there in the corner, so he'll be able to help you prepare some quartz. Incidentally, your bracer notebook should also cover all the new quartz and arts available. It might not be a bad idea to skim through it before talking to him. Sure, we'll do that. In addition, today's practice is likely to be a long duration, shall we say. I would recommend bringing some food, just in case. Ah, oh, right, food. We just talked to Phyllis about that, right? Correct. Talk to Robert and Phyllis for anything you might need before we begin practice. Oh, Stell, before I forget, these are for you. Okay. Hey, these are... Ooh, shiny. Both look really high quality, too. Yes, they're quite valuable. Think of them as a re reward for the guild, uh, from the guild for your successes as a junior bracer. These are like the worst rewards ever. Thanks. Now then, I shall wait for you outside the lodge. Come see me when you're ready. Okay, Estelle, let's go get ready. Right, let's talk to Phyllis and Robert. So, we may now, you may now access your Senior Bracer Notebook. This notebook contains information about your jobs, related events, ornament info, etc. To read your Bracer Notebook, open the Items tab from the Camp menu, and under the Book category, select Bracer Notebook. Oh, wow, she's in my party. Items... Oh wow, that's that's actually pretty good. Oh, okay. Celestial Bomb is is exactly what I thought it was. What do we still have our junior bracer in? Oh my oh my gosh. We oh my gosh, that's kinda cool. Okay, so there was one thing that I really didn't understand. In um, in Trails in the Sky one was like there were colored lines in between each ornament, and I I didn't actually know if that meant anything. Let's see, to use an art, the total. Elemental value of the ornament needs to meet the required elemental value for the arts. The arts 1 through 5. Uh, ornament slots 1 through 7 are connected by the lines which extend out from the central slot. In this situation, the slots blah, 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 are separated into two lines by improving slots. Okay, so... I guess, I guess, 
in order to reach a certain art potential, uh, they could only be connected with those specific lines or something like that. Because there was an instance where I wanted Thetis, and it was a very difficult thing to get Thetis on people. Okay, so this is how I get certain arts. Hmm. Aqua bleed. Wow, blue ascension. Ooh, tear all. La tear all. Three hundred EP. Are you insane, man? White Gehenna. That's a really good one. I was using that on Olivier. At some point during this playthrough, I'm probably going to accidentally mess up Olivier's name. And I apologize for that. Silverthorn. Why is Silverthorn 20? Is it really, like, even that good? I don't even think it's that good. Required element. Oh, they nerfed HP. They nerfed it big time. They also nerfed max EP. They... You could arguably say that they buffed attack here. And... Oh wait, but defense. Defense gives strength down? Was that always... I don't think that was the case in the first one. That kind of sucks. Oh man, there's... Trade-offs are so obnoxious. Look at that! Hit now gives you minus agility? That's whack, yo. Indicates that quartz can only be set after the slot has been upgraded. Oh, you have to upgrade in this game too? No! Wow, action four, are you kidding me? This is some bull crap. Wow, impede is so bad. Wait, no, it's 25% chance to block arts? Impede in every Trails game that hasn't been this one that I've played is a chance to interrupt casting. That's weird. Uh, EP cut got nerfed by 10% there on uh, the final one, but I guess they added an additional one, so. Uh, cast. Okay, these all look the same. Oh, but now we have uh, an upgraded one. Poison 2, Freeze 2, etc. Cool. Range. Arts' effect range increases. That's cool. Information. Yep, I'll be using that. Eagle Eye. I'll probably be using that for a decent chunk of the game. Haze. Cloak. Won't be using Cloak for a while. Heal, probably using... Oh, there we go. Septium Vein. We're going to be using that someday. Uh, combine Eagle Eye and Information. Ooh. Ooh. So, so we can... Um, okay, cool. We can combine stuff. Recover HP when defeating an enemy. That's nice. Recover EP while walking. I need that. All right, luck. All right. We uh we got some stuff to be doing. I'm sure we'll we'll learn all about this stuff. Uh like chains, whatever chains are. Oh no. Oh boy. We're just gonna have so much fun. Oh, there's fishing now. Well, I guess there was fishing in the first one, but only got to do a 
a little bit of fishing. Oh, and this is telling me what I'll get for getting those ranks. Okay. So really all I care about is C+. Plus. Yeah. All I really care about is C plus here. Interesting. Okay. Could finally move on now. Looks like you two picked up the new model combat ordnance. Did you already go over the list of the new courts in your notebooks? The fundamentals aren't much different, but some things have had their attributes adjusted in the new switch, so give it a look. Now before we get started, how about a quick overview? You need a refresher on anything about how your ornaments work? Ask away. I don't... I, I, I guess we'll ask about upgrading slots? I'm guessing it works the same way as it does in Cold Steel. All right, one of the new tricks with the new model combat ornament is slot upgrading. A lot of the higher end quartz for these new things are stupidly potent, but there's a catch. Uh, that kind of circuitry is going to require adjustments and upgrades to your slots before you can use it properly. Good news is the upgrades will also increase the maximum EP charge your ornament can hold. You'll need sepiths to do it, but it's worth it, trust me. All right, I've listened to your ramble for enough. Uh, want some advice? You should make sure you use some healing arts at the very least. Uh, do you know what kind of quartz are required for healing arts? Your bracer notebook will have a full list of arts and the requirements. Make sure to check it. She's just all over the place. Okay, so things are still ridiculously expensive. Why doesn't it come upgraded? Why you gotta sell useless products? <laughs> you know what, Ken? You are totally right. Prevent enemy arts and crafts with 10% success rate. Okay, that is better than I thought it would be. And it's also super ultra mega hyper expensive. Estelle has more EP. I don't like Gur. Just Gur. I guess I'll give that to Estelle. I feel like defense is totally worthless. 